Welcome to PCB Heaven Tech Labs. In this video I will demonstrate my next uh, project which is not actually a project, it's uh, a reverse, reverse engineering process and what I'm trying to do is uh, I'm trying to reverse engineer this uh, LCD which I found from this thing it says here Rain Marine, I don't know what this is. I suppose this is something for uh, ships, a depth meter or something. Anyway, so I got it from this thing and uh, I'm trying to find how this works. When I took it out, I saw behind that it comes from, it's made by Optrex which is a rather good brand and I found this number here and then I said okay lucky me I will find everything that I want from this company I, I searched for this uh, LCD but there is absolutely nothing in the whole internet that gives anything about this LCD so I sent an email to Optrex which I received no answer at all and I also sent an email to some other uh, providers of this LCD and again the only thing they wanted to do was to sell one to me but I didn't want, I already had one, I just wanted the, the data sheet ok so I decided to reverse engineer this LCD because I want to use it for my coffee maker it's not ready uh, yet but these are the parts that will become a coffee maker and uh, this is an excellent LCD it's big I think it's 320 by 200 something I'm not sure I will check it out later okay so first of all I had to find out what these 20 no these 18 pins are it was easy I just followed the lines and luckily these um, controllers here these level shifters are uh, available in the market to buy and of course to download the datasheet and uh, that made my job much easier because I downloaded both data sheets for this I searched for this part and this part as well but nothing could be found, absolutely nothing but it proved that I didn't need anything I also broke these connectors no, I opened these connectors, didn't broke them to see what's hidden underneath this PCB and there was nothing at all I took a photo is this photo? Here, I took this photo from this uh, PCB. This is the LCD uh, from the back side, and this is the back side of the PCB. There is nothing at all, only lines. And then I followed the pins of the um, of the uh, the chips, the positive pin and the negative, the zero volt and the plus 5 volt and I found out I discovered which of these are positive and which are negative wires I found only one positive and uh, I think 5 or 6 negative wires and this is a rather usual technique to avoid uh, inter intertalk between uh, data lines if you have a data line here and a data line here you usually put between them negative uh, wires ground wires, sorry to avoid intertalk between these, these lines and uh, also I soldered this uh, connector on, on this wire to plug it in my breadboard and then I provided power where needed, 5 volts and uh, 
I connected my frequency, my function generator on, a, on this uh, transistor to shift the voltage needed and I had a problem with one pin I think it was pin 7 which I didn't know what this is it was marked as VEE -E. and after some test I discovered that this was simply a contrast or something else that I can use as a contrast okay so it took me about the whole day to do this that's about uh, 12 hours and uh, I think that I am in a very good uh, road now let's see what I have done here I give power to the LCD guess nothing happens but let me explain you how this works this here these four resistors are the four da data the data are streamed in the LCD in packets of four bits so each time that uh, a clock pulse arrives let me put a slower frequency you see the pulses okay each pulse streams four data to the LCD I go back to the fast frequency so this uh, uh, this data are the horizontal lines or vertical these lines anyway these lines and uh, this button here simulates these lines the opposite so what happens is every time I press the button like now the, there will appear a new line if I'm liking here no why not oh of course this should be here okay so whenever I press the button like this a new line will appear every time watch this I press now and again and again and again okay. okay you see that every time a new line appears from the right side which is the bottom side and scrolls or the other to the top side and what are these strips these strips are simply the four data that I sent so this is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 and that's exactly the data that I sent this resistor is 1 and these three are 0 0 0 so I'm sending binary byte 1 0 0 0 I may change this to 1 0 0 1 like this and now I press the button and see what happens that data are streamed up to here because the clock is not very fast but now that I will press it again data will be streamed all the way down so you see that the stripes or strips are thicker now because there are two bytes with the binary one I can make one more like this and I press the button again and you see that there is only one line that is zero because because you understand why so I think I'm going pretty good oh yes and uh, of course there is one more wire this yellow wire here which now is connected through this 
this uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor to the positive. I'm sure that this resistor is not needed, but I always put big resistors when I reverse engineer something just to just to be safe. Okay, and uh, now I will put this wire to ground and see what happens. Was this the correct one? That was not the correct one. Oh gee, this wire is the enable the no turn on and turn off the LCD. So this is how it works. When I take it out, it's off. When I plug it in, it's on. Off, on. Okay, so I have the four bits. I have the clock. Which one? This one. This is the clock for the horizontal or vertical. For these lines, which uh, streams four bits each time. I have the clock, which is this one, for the other lines, which streams only one scan line every time. And I have this wire, this yellow wire, which is now positive, and I go to zero. And when I do this, whenever I press the button, a new scan line will appear, but it will be blank, like this. So. As you see, all the lines scrolls to the left, but nothing new appears. And when I put it back, new scan lines appear. So, yes, sometimes you see stupid things happen like this, but this is normal because I don't have a switch to bouncer, so this button sends stupid things. Okay. That's all about this uh, reverse engineering. Ah, no, that's not all about. And I have this potentiometer here, which is uh, controls the the current to the pin that's marked as VEE. -E. And if you happen to reverse engineer something, and you come across this pin yourself, then you should know that this is nothing else but the contrast. I'm pretty amazed with this LCD. I don't know if this camera is good enough to show the the clarity of this LCD. It's very nice and it's big. And I hope that I will make it work. I will use the peak. Uh, I don't know yet. Maybe 16f88 or peak. Uh, 19f 16f 1935 or something 37 I'm not sure anyway uh, thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit my website for more interesting projects this is what left from from the device that I read, but this. this.